Okay, let's take a look at this simple math problem. And, you know, if you just take a look at this equation, it doesn't seem that uh, difficult. We have x squared is equal to 4. Well, if you think you could do this problem, go ahead and put your answer into the comment section. And I'll tell you right now, a lot of you are going to confidently do this problem, but uh, you will get it wrong. Well, hopefully you don't get it wrong, but a lot of you are going to answer this and be surprised that if this was a quiz or a test or a multiple choice question, that you would not get this uh, correct. I'm not going to really give you any more clues or hints here because I want you to have an opportunity to think about this and uh, put your answer into the comment section. Of course, I'm going to show you the answer here in just one second, and then I'm going to make a bigger point about what's going on uh, in this particular type of math problem. So I'm going to kind of keep it general to build up that suspense. But uh, before we get going, let me quickly introduce myself. My name is John. I'm the founder of TC Math Academy. I'm also a middle and high school math teacher. I've been teaching math for decades, and I'm telling you right now, you could be successful in mathematics, and I'm especially speaking to those of you that tend to struggle in math. If you're like, oh, I always fail math, I hate math. Well, listen, I'm telling you right now, it doesn't always have to be that way for you. You can be excellent in mathematics, but what you need is great math instruction. Clear, understandable, and comprehensive. So if you're at the middle school, uh, high school, or even college level in terms of mathematics, check out my math help program. You can find a link to it in the description of this video. I promise it will help you out big time. Also, if you happen to be preparing for any sort of test that has a, a math section or mathematics on it, I'm talking about things like the GED, SAT, uh, ACT, ASVAB, maybe a teacher certification exam. I have a ton of test prep courses that can help you uh, prepare and pass those exams. If you homeschool, check out my homeschool program for middle and high school mathematics. Now, if you need a pair of math notes, everyone needs math notes. If you're a, a student, you need uh, something to study from. So hopefully you're taking your own excellent notes. But if you have not, I'm going to let you um, use mine. I'm going to leave links to my notes in the description of this video. But you got to learn how to take excellent notes. That's very important in mathematics. And if this video helps you out, don't forget to like and subscribe, as that definitely helps me out. Okay, so here we go. X squared is equal to 4. Pretty simple equation. Yes, it is algebra. Uh, so do you have your answer? Put that answer into the comment section because I'm going to show your answer right now. Let's see if you got this right. Okay, so here is the answer. X squared is equal to 4. X is equal to 2 and negative 2. Now, a lot of you uh, are going to be like this, okay? You're going to be like not sure if you got this right because I would say uh, not, definitely the majority of you, okay? Because maybe some of you have been following me on my YouTube channel for a while and already know the answer. But probably a lot of you, when x squared is equal to 4, you answered x is equal to 2. Okay, if you did have an answer, if that was your only answer, x is equal to 2, well, you're not alone. A lot of students would just uh, give this as their final answer because they're saying, oh, well, 2 squared, if I put 2 here for x, I would get 2 squared, which, of course, is 4, and 4 is equal to 4. So that's good thinking, okay? And I'm not going to... Um, you know, uh, uh, you know, make you feel bad about giving me giving me at least one of the answers, but it's an incomplete answer, all right? This equation here has two solutions. If you just said x is equal to 2, well, how many points do you think I should give you on a test? Should I give you 5 out of 10, give you half credit? Well, sometimes mean teachers, which I don't like to think of myself, uh, you know, is uh, that mean, okay? And hopefully I'm actually, actually an easygoing math teacher. I would try to stress to my students, be careful. I'm going to be giving you a trick question. Don't just give me half of the solutions here, okay? So the complete answer is x is equal to 2 and negative 2. We need both, uh, both of these solutions. So anyways, let's go ahead and get into why this is. All right, so this is the bigger point here, okay? Uh, we have x squared is equal to 4. Anytime you're solving an equation, even in a simple equation like this in algebra and in mathematics, we need to first recognize what type of equation we're dealing with. And hopefully, uh, this x squared was a kind of, um, you know, stood out to you as saying, oh, wait a minute, this is like a quadratic equation. If you knew this was a quadratic equation, and even if you just put your answer as x is equal to 2 and you forgot the negative 2, that's still very, very good, okay? Because once you know what type of equation you're dealing with, then we can kind of like predict, hey, you know, like uh, what should we be 
looking for in terms of a final answer. Well, all quadratic equations will always have two solutions, okay? Two solutions. So this is a technically what we call a polynomial, a degree two polynomial. The degree, the polynomial, this little two here, tells us how many solutions we have. So again, if you just had your x is equal to two, that's one solution. We need to give two solutions. So let's go ahead and talk about how we would solve this quadratic equation. The easiest way to solve this particular quadratic equation is, is simply to take the square root of both sides of the equation. And a lot of you are probably saying, yeah, that's what I did. Well, that's good. So the square root of x squared is x, and now this is where the trouble starts. We have to figure out what the square root of 4 is. Now, if I just gave you a problem, okay, without x squared, and I just said, hey, what is the square root of 4? Okay, let's say this is like 6th grade math, 7th grade math, whatever the case is. If I just said answer this question, most math teachers are going to be perfectly fine with you saying the square root of 4 is 2. Okay, because we're going to be talking about something called the principal square root. It's basically the square root of a number when it, that number is not involved in an equation. Okay, that's a real loose kind of a way to think about it, but that's basically what it is. So if I said, hey, what's the square root of 4? And if you answer 2, I would give you full credit. All right, I would give you a 10 out of 10, and I would uh, definitely give you a nice little happy face. I'd be like, yes, that's perfect. Because what we're uh, being asked here is simply to find the principal square root. That's different than what we're asked to um, do right here. Here, we're trying to solve a quadratic equation, and we need uh, two solutions. So when we take the square root of 4, we need to recognize that technically, not the principal square root, the square root of 4 is also uh, plus and minus uh, 2, okay? Not just positive. The positive number of a square root is the principal square root, and that's okay for questions like this. But in uh, problems where you're solving an equation, so I know I'm kind of being redundant here, you need that negative as well. So let's go ahead and see why. So here is x uh, squared is equal to 4. Remember, x is equal to both positive and negative 2. All right. So let's just go ahead and test this solution uh, into this equation. So we'll, here we'll have x is equal to 2, and here we'll have x is equal to negative 2. And let's test this. Let me make this even a little more clear. x squared is equal to 4, and x squared is equal to 4. So anytime you want to check solutions into an equation, just simply replace that x with the solution, and then let's go ahead and see if the uh, equations balance, or the, I'm sorry, the sides of the equation balance. So we're going to replace this x with a 2. So we get 2 squared. What's 2 squared? Well, 2 squared, two squared is, in fact, 4. So 4 equals 4. That checks. So now let's go ahead and check negative 2 here into this uh, same equation, x squared is equal to 4. So I'm going to replace this x with negative 2. So negative 2 squared is what? Well, negative 2 times negative 2 is positive 4. So negative 2 squared is, in fact, uh, positive 4. Positive 4 is equal to positive 4. So that checks as well. So this is your two unique solutions, okay? So don't feel too bad if you, uh, you know, made this error and you only uh, kind of gave half of the answer here. And certainly, if you understood that this was a quadratic equation and you were taking the square root of both sides, that's good stuff, okay? But you have to be very, very careful on tests and exams, okay? Mathematics is a, you know, precise um, science. And, you know, when you're given a question like this, you know, your teachers are going to expect that you give, you know, your answer the question completely, all right? And this particular type of mistake is so, so common, especially amongst first-year uh, first and second year algebra students. So anyways, hopefully you got something out of it. If, if that is the case, don't forget to like and subscribe. And by the way, if you need uh, additional help with um, algebra, uh, whether it be quadratic equations, anything along those lines, I would definitely uh, point you towards my pre-algebra or algebra one course. It might be at the algebra two course or algebra uh, two course level, which I have that course as well. But uh, anyways, between those courses and what's on my YouTube channel, there is a lot of additional uh, support that I can offer you if you like my teaching style. Anyways, with that being said, I definitely wish you all the best in your mathematics adventures. Thank you for your time and have a great day.